So the reality for most of us in pen testing is that we aren't hoodie wearing legends, cracking into the Pentagon at 2 a.m. or living off bug bounties from Bali, making $500,000 a year while sipping coconuts. Huh? Stop it. What I want to do instead is give you a realistic look at what the day-to-day -day actually looks like for pen testers working at small to medium-sized companies or even in consultancies. The biggest influence on your day-to-day -day as a pen tester is honestly who you work for. If you're in a consulting firm, you're likely juggling multiple clients, short timelines, and a ton of documentation. If you're in-house, you're probably involved in some mix of red teaming, vulnerability assessments, and maybe a bit of compliance or helping the blue team tighten things up. Most organizations loosely follow a structured engagement cycle for pen tests. It usually breaks into phases like scoping, recon, exploitation, and reporting. Every engagement kicks off with scoping and planning. This is where you and your team meet with the client or internal stakeholders to figure out what's in scope, what systems you can touch, how hard you can go, and what the legal and logistical boundaries are. If you're freelancing or working for a smaller firm, you might also be helping write the contract or explaining why you're not going to break into their entire AWS account on day one. Once that's locked in, you roll into reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. This usually starts passive, looking at DNS records, Hoy's info, port scanning, subdomain enumeration, crawling for exposed dev environments, and digging through public repos or paste sites. You might even do a little OSINT to figure out what tech stack they're running, or if anyone on their team has exposed sensitive data online. Then comes vulnerability discovery and exploitation. You're looking for weak spots, default credentials, outdated software, forgotten admin panels, misconfigured services, maybe even an exposed VPN portal without two-factor authentication, where breached credentials could give you direct access into the internal network. Sure, there's automated scanning, but a lot of this is still manual. Combing through Burp Suite, trying different payloads, testing edge cases, or chaining multiple low severity findings into something high impact. If you're doing an internal pen test, now you're focusing on lateral movement, privilege escalation, maybe cracking hashes, or abusing misconfigurations in Active Directory. You're proving that a single foothold could compromise the entire environment if the wrong person got access. And the whole time, you're taking notes, screenshots, payloads, IPs, steps to reproduce, because when it's over, the report is what matters. Reporting is probably the least exciting part of the job, but it's also the most important. As the attacker, you understand the risk better than anyone. You've seen how the system can be abused, and if you don't clearly communicate that impact, the findings are going to get downplayed or ignored, especially if the fix isn't cheap or easy. Unlike a lot of roles, you're not directly generating revenue. You're preventing lawsuits, breaches, and multi-million dollar ransomware incidents. Managers manage, defenders defend, but you, you are the attacker. You know exactly how this stuff gets exploited in the wild. So you can't just say, well, it's an LLMNR spoofing issue. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, nerd. You have to say, this gap can be used to compromise your domain in minutes. If an attacker landed in your network, you are done for. Conveying that impact is a skill. If you don't, people won't act. And that's when things really go wrong. It's not always glamorous. There's a lot of grind, a lot of documentation, and sometimes the most exciting part of your day is finding a forgotten Jenkins server. But if you love breaking stuff to make it better, and you want to understand systems like an attacker does, pen testing is a damn good career. And if you're trying to break into pen testing but don't know where to start, our private hacking community has everything you need. We've got a full OSCP prep course, the best certification if you want to land a job as a pen tester, plus beginner-friendly courses that take you from never having touched Linux all the way to being job ready. You'll be joining a community of motivated people who are learning, growing, and helping each other succeed every single day. You get a one-day free trial, so there's zero risk to check it out. And honestly, I think you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching.